Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you. I have a very special, special video today. It's a system that came from another part of the world, and it's the first time I see something of this caliber in my life. First and foremost, Jackie, I want to thank you and your team for bringing something so special to America. Never had the opportunity to see something like this, and I can assure you I will remember it forever. Okay. It is, I mean, it's just astonishing. I've had a lot of people stop me in the hallway, ask me questions about the system, because not enough has been done on social media to tell your story, to tell what makes this system so special. These many boxes that you guys see, I counted them, I believe it's like 24 boxes total when I was yeah. sitting here yesterday. So I think my audience and everyone who's sitting here right now would like to know more about the system. Um, how do you put it together? So tell us a little bit about you. Tell us a little bit about your family and of course, what you have behind here. Okay, so uh, we are from EST, EST Acoustic uh, from the city of Hangzhou, China. If you know Alibaba Group, we are from the same city. Okay. And um, uh, so my, my dad has been an audiophile for over 30 years. So I grew up in an environment where hi-fi music is all around. And um, uh, actually, when I went to college, I went to UCLA. Uh, but oh. I studied sociology. Oh. I didn't aim for the audio industry. But uh, before I graduated, uh, because of my dad, I, I, um, I got to know two masters from the audio industry. One is Dr. Bruce Edgar, the other is Mr. Sam Seye. That is uh, where our name come from, okay. ESD. ESD. So, so Edgar, Seye, and Dai. Okay, so uh, I learned with them. Uh, Dr. Bruce Edgar was a, uh, they, they are both from NASA. Dr. Bruce Edgar was the, actually the developer of infrasonic weapon, and he was also known for promotion of Tractrix horn curvature. So he is like a, um, a very, very familiar with all the horn theory and uh, audio technology. So he had started an, a brand of his own called Edgar Horn back in 94, 1994. And Mr. Sam Say used to work in NASA too, but he's more of a, a, a magnetic expert. Okay. And he also worked in 20th Century Fox. He used to uh, record for Michael Jackson and Madonna. Wow. Yeah. So um, I learned from, my, my technology was learned from these two masters. And um, uh, the company was founded back in 2016. Uh, well, the, the year I graduated. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, we immediately we, you did. Yeah, something. yeah. I learned with them, and we made prototype together. Then I brought everything back to China, and uh, we we started a production line, uh, make everything real. So we we also applied a lot of new technologies into it. Uh, when we design, we use like a SolidWorks and a console, so uh, to make it better. Um, and so. Would you like me to? Uh, what I want to know first uh, before we yeah. get started, I'm, is, yeah. this question is burning me. Yeah. Why did you land on horns instead of a regular box speaker? Why horns? Oh. Yeah, uh, horns uh, like this, it gets more efficient, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With more efficiency, that means um, if you want to hear the same level of loudness of music uh, on the seat, you only need less excursion in in the driver. So that means lower distortion. So walk us through the system itself, all the boxes. I'm assuming these are all power amplifiers. Tell us, is it a three-way, is it a four-way, what is it? It's six-way. Six-way? Yeah, six-way. Okay. Uh, not all, all of them are amplifiers. I'll go one by one. Okay. So uh, this is the CD transport. This is a controller for it. And this is a separate power supply. So this line is, they, they are all power, uh, separate power supply for this line. And this is our uh, digital analog converter. This is a preamplifier. And these two are active analog crossover. They are five ways and they're, uh, there you can adjust the level, phase, and slope. Wow. Yeah, from there it goes to uh, these amplifiers. Here we have 10 boxes, uh, five on each side. They are all class A 10 watts, single-ended solid state. Sing okay. Yeah, and they use carbon silicon MOS tube, so very unique structure. Very unique. 
Yeah, and uh, the crossover also gave a full signal to the back where there are Weird. two sets of uh, subwoofer, their comb, comb speakers, and they have 500 watts amplifiers inside the cabinet. So they are active, and those are in charge of 18 to 50 hertz. And uh, please come here, um, see yeah. the big horn. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the, the big horn is in charge of 50 to 100 hertz. This one is in charge of 100 to 500 hertz. This is from 500 to 2000 hertz. These two are from 2000 to 8000 hertz. And these two are from 8000 to 52000 hertz. So that is how this, there are uh, six ways and uh, 10 units. So What's the efficiency of the system? Well, um, the horns are all above 110 dB. Uh, like this biggest horn is 110, this is 120. But for the subwoofer, it's, it's just like normal cone speaker, right. whereas uh, each unit is 84 dB sensitivity. Okay. Yeah. So what's, what about the power? What's the total power right now that we're listening to? Okay, uh, all the horn drivers are driven by only 10 watts of class A amps. So they don't need much because they are super efficient. Super efficient. But these uh, subwoofers, they each has got 500 watts. Okay. Yeah, so in total it's about 5,000 because uh, there are also more power coming out of here. So this is fuel coil power supply. That oh, is wow. because our magnet is unique. All the drivers here and units, they are made of um, copper coils. The, the, the field coil driver, uh, also known as electromagnet. So uh, we know that most speakers are using permanent magnet. So they usually get to about uh, 1.2 to 1.5 Tesla of magnetic density. But for electromagnet, we can get to 2.4 Tesla, which is the highest possible. And we put um, permanent alloy, uh, also known as super Mendel alloy, in the driver so that it can get to 2.4 Tesla. Uh, well, to, to understand it, you just compare like a Lamborghini to a normal car, the, the, wow. the power is different. So it's with different. more power, it like accelerate and stop more quickly than others. What does this system run price-wise? Okay, uh, this is a special version with Chinese lacquer on the finish. So this one is 4 million with the usual set up, it's 1.2 million US dollars. 1.2 million. Yeah, okay. um, this Chinese lacquer is, um, like um, um, it's, it's a natural lacquer gathered from lacquer trees and oh. it has to be handmade. It needs uh, a year and a half for artists to finish them. So it's wow. more like art. Wow. Yeah, it's very luxurious since ancient time. Uh, it, uh, Chinese lacquer is actually the ancestor of all lacquers, but right now it's more chemical lacquer. So, oh. so it's, it's for mass production, but for sure. Chinese lacquer, it, it's only, um, gathered on, on, on trees and handmade, it has to be like that. Is this the only system in existence like this or have you put these around the globe by now? Have you sold these to customers by now? Yeah, we have sold 14 right now. 14? Yeah, do you know uh, the uh, Jack Ma? I've heard, yes. Yeah, uh, he, he's the richest man in China, he owns one. Wow, yeah. I was listening to a track, a drum track from yesterday, the pounding was unlike anything else I've ever felt. Maybe the only time I felt such dynamic contrast was when I, when I was in the army and I heard grenades go off. That's about the closest I've heard to something like this. It's just the experience that you present to us audiophile. Audiophiles here in America is unlike anything else, you know, that I think we have all experienced. So again, I wanna say thank you to you for bringing something like this. I, I also wanna make sure that you understand the logistics that this you know, exhibitor had to go through to bring all of this from overseas, the money spent. So this is one of the things why I wanna be so thankful. Um, this show, this exponent has been, in my opinion, the best ever that I have ever attended. All rooms have been fantastic um, and people, people have been super nice and accommodating and friendly. And so, man, once again, Jackie, I wanna give you and shake your, your hand too for helping, you know, grow this industry. And you're young, I mean, you're much younger than I am. And this to see this level of passion on someone as young as you are is really touching and captivating. So thank you. There you have it, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this special video 
from Jay's Audio Lab bringing you some of the craziest and most insane sound, system or, or sound systems around the globe. This is no exception. Stay tuned. Please, if you like videos like this, like it, subscribe. Take care. Thank you. Awesome. Let's take a nice selfie too.